Um, many thanks for your time to, to have the interview today. Um, maybe you just want to say a few words, um, introduce yourself and just a few words about your firm. Yeah, sure, thank you. Um, my name is Arnold Christian Stange. I'm an international tax and legal partner with HLB Stückmann, a German mid-tier firm, proud member of the network of HLB International. And uh, we are a 140 people firm with uh, about 13 million euro turnover. And we serve uh, family run businesses, mid sized companies who mainly operate internationally. And uh, we've been a member with uh, HLB International since 1994. And uh, we've been serving international clients since 1951, I think. So you were saying you're doing a lot of international business. Um, how do you specifically target the international subsidiaries? Or well, what we mainly do is we serve German outbound clients. Um, we started doing that in 1951 when we uh, saw one of our founding partners um, accompany a client on a business trip to South America. That was, and in those days, it was a very long time. They took, I think, six weeks in order to um, scrutinize business development ideas in South America. And since then, we've always been involved in the international developments of our uh, clients. It is mainly a case of accompanying them abroad and as a consequence, since we have built up a lot of relationships with uh, our colleagues in the other countries, we get inbound business as well. And now we have a <coughs> well-established international practice that uh, helps both inbound and outbound clients to operate cross-border. Mm -hmm. And do you have a um, strategy, a particular strategy in place to, to um, win international clients, to go to, to, to extend this international client base? Well, what we do is we invest heavily in our personal network. So we send people to the HLB conferences in order to make ourselves known. Um, we we are proud to say that we are a member of HLB and we mentioned that whenever we come across a potential client. Um, it is nowadays a fact that we in our region have an edge to the competitors because we are a member of a capable network. Whereas uh, the other mid-tier firms do not have such a well-established network in place in their firm. They may be members of uh, a network but our active part in the network is what brings us clients because we can uh, convince them that our relationships to the colleagues in the other countries are reliable and uh, sustainable and uh, we have proven that um, this network, this personal network that we have built up over the last years is capable of serving them at a very high level and um, at a very high speed as well. So the response time that we uh, face from our colleagues in the other countries is fantastic. Mm -hmm. So you say it's um, it's it's um, you you differ from your competitors belonging to a network. So is there anything that you um, do in particular to promote your international capabilities to your clients? Or what we have done is we have <coughs> organized a number of um, seminars for clients and potential clients with topics that dealt with cross-border issues. We um, serve as uh, presenters in regional and uh, national conferences. So we try to bring uh, into the, uh, to the attention of our potential clients that we have this international expertise. We uh, issue client letters that deal with international issues, so international issues are a regular content of our, um, of our client publications. And um, mainly through um, this we are brought to, or we come into the focus of our potential clients that do international business. And it is both a matter of um, winning these clients directly and of being addressed by local advisors who do not have this international expertise who ask us to render a second opinion or to work on projects 
because they know that we uh, will help them to serve their clients uh, in the international field. Mm -hmm. um, and you mentioned a few initiatives that you do in order to increase your international client base. What is mm -hmm. it that you would recommend or advise other HOB member firms to do in order to do exactly the same to, to increase the international client base? Is there anything you would... Well, number one, um, you need to uh, demonstrate your excellence um, by uh, service. So when you service a client, it is you know, decisive that the quality of the service you render is perfect. Uh, we face a lot of clients that have been recommended to us by um, others, or we have been recommended rather than the client. So, so uh, we service one client in the international field and uh, the news passes that Schlickmann can do it. And then uh, clients refer their colleagues or their friends to us. And that is of great help. And it's uh, the second leg that we have is that we send people to the conferences so that people in the other part of the HRB network get to know us as a reliable partner in Germany, so we win quite a lot of inbound business as well. Okay, um, and just to conclude uh, the interview, you uh, are also part of the International Tax Committee that HRB set up. Maybe just want to say a quick few words of, of what the ITC is doing and... Well, the, yes, um, I'm a member to the International Tax Committee since 2004. And uh, we as a committee help the colleagues all around the world to enhance their international cooperation. So if someone needs a contact somewhere else, he might look up the dictionary, uh, the, the, the directory, sorry, uh, or he might uh, call us and ask for um, advice on who to contact in a specific country or how to approach an international tax issue if he lacks the experience. Further, we organize the, uh, the tax conferences, the international tax conferences and the regional tax elements uh, at the regional conferences. And um, finally, we organize training and we help uh, the network to promote the tax services. So market development or business development is, is part of, of our um, core um, uh, role in the, in the whole of the HLB network. Thank you very much for your time. You're welcome, Pauline.